who has since said that you were his greatest teammate, the most influential man he's ever played on a pitch with during his career. Eric Kantner, please put him into sort of context for those out there. What was he like to be around? Well, it was very different. I think, uh, but it was very clear. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know if people know the story. He was rejected over at Sheffield Wednesday and, and he came to Ellen Road similarly on trial and within 10 minutes he'd scored a, an overhead kick. The players just looked at Wilkinson and said, come on, sign him. He was, he was, he was certainly talented. You know, the, he, he came with a lot, of, a lot of baggage, without a shadow of a doubt. He'd, he'd been up to loads of stuff in the French League. <laughs> but he was never with Leslie Ash, I can assure you. That was, <laughs> that was, that was trust me, that was a story. That was a story that just, that started from Manchester United fans living in Boston. <laughs> But uh, as a player, I think, I think there's a bit of a myth about Eric in the fact that, you know, what he did at Manchester United. But, but what he did at Leeds was, everybody says he was, he was very influential. And he did, he, maybe in two games, two or three games. He, he only played about ten games, I think, in the, in the season he won the league. So he, was, he, wasn't, he wasn't the sort of talisman that he was at Manchester United. The, the guy that drove that team was by far the captain. Strachan was unbelievable. Strachan was the driving force. He set the standard every day in training. He was the guy that was there first. He was last to leave. He was, for a couple of three seasons, he was the best player in the UK, I thought. He was, he was wonderful. And everybody in that club took the lead for Gordon. Gary Speed played way up into over 35 until disaster. David Batty the same. We all took the lead for Strachan. Strachan was the main man. Definitely. 